What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. T today we are going to go over, um, we're going to go over this problem on Spodge called, uh, is it a tree? So you're given an undirected graph and you need to write a program that to check if it's a tree topology. Okay. So first let's actually read in the graph because that's, yeah. So, um, if you don't know what a graph is, it's just like, hold up. Um, so if you don't know what a graph is, it's basically like a bunch of circles connected by a bunch of edges, right? So this technically, this is a graph technically, right? And you, it's, it's like, if you like label, if you go on like a map, right? And then you just label all the places you see with like uh, circles. And then for each of them, there's like roads, right? For roads and like sidewalks, you just connect like your houses. I don't know, places that you need to connect your houses to or stuff like that. And you connect them with an edge. That's basically what a graph is. Like this technically is a graph. So we need to check if it's a tree or not. So given the graph topology of these nodes, we need to check if it's a tree or not. Okay. So before we even do anything of that, um, there's two ways to represent graphs, um, adjacency list and adjacency matrix. We are going to use an adjacency list because that's faster. Okay, so let's actually just re read in the graph so we have the input of the graph and then we could check if it's a tree or not. And then I'll go over what a tree topology is. So um, so we read in two integers, n and m. So n is the number of nodes, m is the number of edges in the graph. So, and then the next m lines contains each of the pairs u, v, which means there's an edge between the node u and v. So what does that mean? Um, so that's going to mean this. We read in n and m. So whoops. N and M, right? And then this means that it's the N and M is the number of nodes, M is the number of edges. So now I'm gonna go through all edges and I'm gonna read in uh, U and V. Okay, and then um, U and V it just represents like each node that's connected to it. So here, uh, U and V. Okay, so now, um, yeah, uh, we need to push this into an adjacency list. So actually, let's do that. Um, yeah, I'll call this adjacency list. So each uh, each UNV is like each of these small circles. And then adjacency list means that they're connected to each other. So if I had like um, a list of, uh, I don't know, uh, the adjacency list just means it's like the, all the neighbors of it. So if I had, if this was, uh, I don't know, it had number three, right? All right, and then this was four and five and six. I don't know. Um, your adjacency list would be like three and it's gonna have all the, the list of neighbors, which is, would be like uh, four, five, and six, right? Cause it's three and then these are the neighbors, four, five, and six. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't circle it, but yeah, that's basically what it's doing. Okay, so we're gonna, an adjacency list is just, that's just what it is, okay? So, here um, we have adjacency list. I'm going to do n plus one, right? Because I want to. Um, so n plus adjacency list is just like a list of the all the nodes, right? Uh, I'm gonna index it from one because I think it it makes sense in this input statement because I don't want three to be to relate to two and one actually relates to zero. That's too confusing. So I'm gonna index it from one. Okay, so that's why I do n plus one. Okay, um, now at this point, I'm going to do adjacency list at u, which is going to be the the um, yeah at u, which is going to represent the the value at u, right? And I'm going to push back. So this is going to push back the node of the neighbor of v. Okay, um, so we know it's an undirected graph. I think I think it's undirected. Undirected. So I think undirected means you could go both ways. If I recall, let me just see undirected graph versus directed. I think that's what it means. Uh, undirected graph dude, doesn't have a direction. They could go both ways, two ways. Yeah. So yeah. So that means that the neighbors of you, the node at you, right? It's neighbor. We're going to add a V V as its neighbor, but we also need to add V of its neighbor uh, push back to have node U. Okay, that's basically what we need to do. Um, is that the gist of it? Uh, let's see. 
Um, oh, I actually should set these to have empty arrays. Actually, does this does this work? Oh, I, I, wait, no, I don't have to initialize that. I don't think so. Okay, so now now we have this. Now now we have the input graph inputted into our result. Um, remember, long long just means long long. Uh, LL just means long long. But uh, yeah, now we have the input graph. So now we, now we need to check if it's a tree topology or not. So what is a tree? Um, a tree by definition means that you have one root. So that means it's like, um, uh, if you were to go back to here. So a tree would mean like, this would be like a tree. It's kind of like a Christmas tree. So there's like a starting root. This is gonna be the root. And then if you keep going down, each of them has only like one parent. So yeah, so the tree contains a single root, that's the root. And then we say the node P is a parent of U if you could reach from it, right? Um, similarity, N is a child of P. Yeah, so this is just the same definitions. Um, each node except the root ha must have one parent. Okay, so this means that I cannot connect both of these together. So like, um, so this is, this, con this is a tree, right? We call this a tree. I cannot connect this and this, right? Because that means this child would have two parents here and here. So that's not illegal. This is not allowed. So, so because it's not allowed, this is actually going to be, this is actually going to be, um, we have to make sure that it, it's not allowed. Okay. Um, so yeah, also all the, all the nodes have to be connected, right? So I can't just have, at the end, I can't just have this, a node right here, a circle right here where it's not connected to any of them that I can't go because that, that this is just not connected, right? So um, yeah, they have to be connected. So I have to be able to get from this root down to here. And in this case, this would not be a tree because it's not connected. But yeah, that's what we basically have to do. So all of them has to be connected, yeah. So let's actually go over the algorithm to how to check if it's a tree or not. Um, so right down here. Okay, so over here, undirected graph, to check if it's a tree or not, we're going to go to DFS, run DFS, and go through um, from any node to make sure that each node has exactly one parent. So we have to check if uh, all the nodes have exactly one parent because that, that would, if it doesn't, it would violate the for the second rule of our tree that everything every, every node has to have one single parent. So we have to run DFS on the node and check if it has a single parent, right? If not, then um, you return false. Although also we have to check if all, all the nodes are visited. So uh, if the DFS, if you can't visit all nodes, then it's false, otherwise it's a tree. So yeah, so we have to visit all the nodes, okay? Um, yeah, all right, so how would you do this? Uh, this is kind of the algorithm from CLRS, so N is the number of nodes. We're going to return tree if it's true or false. Okay, so here, uh, undirected DFS, you have to visit all of them. If one of them is false, then it's not possible. Okay, so visit all the nodes. Then here, um, yeah, here you have to be able to visit all of them. Yeah, actually, this is the this undirected DFS checks if it's uh, there's a parent, exactly one parent. Okay. Um, Call DFS, pass one and pass the parent negative one, indicate it doesn't have any node, we'll pass it, true or false value, okay. All right, so I have not actually coded this before, but let's actually do this. Okay, so we're gonna actually code this algorithm from CLRS. Okay, um, so undirected DFS, uh, let's see. So, okay, so what we're, what we're gonna do here is, uh, wait, hold up. What, what does he want is print yes if it's a tree otherwise no okay so here i'm gonna print if it's is tree i pass in my adjacency list then i print yes else i print no okay so is tree yeah Oh wait, I think it has to be uppercase. Okay, so this has to be uppercase. So a yes. And here we got a lowercase. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a function called um, isTree. 
And here we're going to call, we're going to pass in our adjacency list. Okay, uh, this is our adjacency list. Pass by reference. Okay, so now we have the adjacency list, and let's go back to the algorithm. Um, so we're going to run undirected DFS, pass in the current node, um, and then a visited. If you visited, if it's false, then we return false. And yeah, so, okay. So here we're gonna call, um, yeah, okay. So visited, it was false. And then we're gonna run if undirected, directed DFS. Actually, th this should just be called has one parent uh, because that makes more more sense. Okay. so. If all nodes has one parent, okay? That's what this function should return because uh, I don't know why, why they're doing it this way, okay? Um, if it's false, then we return false. Otherwise, we need to visit all the nodes. Um, so here we're gonna do, uh, yeah. So here we're gonna go from one to, uh, list dot size uh, minus one so this is this going to be n oh crap do we have maybe we should pass in n um number of nodes n plus one minus one yeah okay so this is going to go through one to n which is the number of nodes um, remember, we indexed it from one, so that's why I have to do minus one to get the number of nodes. Okay, so while we're going through all the number of nodes, um, what do you have to do now? Oh yeah, so if it's if uh, if I didn't visit the node at i, then I return false. Okay, so this is just uh, otherwise return true. So this is just making sure you could visit all the nodes here. Okay, um, so now let's actually go through has one parent. Um, maybe we should do like, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so here, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this should be a Boolean uh, representing all the nodes. So this should be a bool, uh, vector Boolean of n plus one. Okay, um, n, let's see. Maybe I should pass in n, the number of nodes. Yeah, I'm gonna pass in n. Uh, the reason why I'm passing in n is so that it doesn't get too confusing. So here I'm gonna pass in n. Okay, so that's the number of nodes. Okay, um, so we're gonna go through the number of nodes. So visited, if if I didn't visit a node, I return false. So that means I visit all the nodes. If I visit all the nodes, I'm gonna return true. Okay, um, so all nodes, if, it's, if all nodes has one parent is false, so that means um, they don't have one parent, then I return false. Okay. Um, now, uh, what do you say here? Okay. So we start at one. So they're saying to start at one. Okay. So we're going to start at node one or negative one. But the thing is, we don't know if, do we know if, okay, here's a problem. We don't know if it has, if it, all the nodes start from one, right? It could be between. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, node one. Uh, they also said parent. Start the parent as one. I haven't done this problem before, guys. So I'm just telling you. Okay, start node one. Parent check. Parent give parent negative one, and then visited. Pass and visited. Okay, so I pass and visited. Visited. Okay, so now here we're gonna create another function. All nodes has one parent, and um, oh crap, I have to pass in the adjacency list also there okay so now so we have the current node that we're on we have the parent then we have the uh, visitor array different nodes that we visited maybe I should make this into like a global variable I don't know um, we have our adjacency matrix or adjacency list okay um, what else do we have? 
Here's the list. Um, should we pass one in? Let's pass one in anyway. Okay, uh, why is this not working? Oh, what the? What the? Oh. Oh, what the? Yeah. Okay, here and then we're passing in. Okay, oh, okay. So now we have the list of nodes. Okay, so now while we're going through DFS, what are we gonna do? Um, we start the parent of the node. If it's visited, DFS not. Uh, if it's visited is true, then we're gonna return false. Wait, what? Oh, if you already visited. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you already visited the node, you can't visit it twice. That means that the parent is there's no parent. Uh, there's two parents, right? So that means that, um, yeah, then you have to return false. So like if there's two parents, let's say I, I have a node right here, right? And I, I started from the root and I went to here and then I went to here. So I already visited, so this is visited. Then I started from root, I went to here and then I went to here again. So this is visited twice. So if it, if it was visited twice, that means there's two parents. So this parent and this parent, there's two parents. So you can't do that, you cannot have that, so yeah. So that's why if you already visited, you just return false. So if current uh, if visited at current node is already visited, then we return false because that means not possible. Okay. Okay. Um, what else do you do? Uh, otherwise, we're going to set it to true. So we're going to set, whoops, we are going to set that the current node to true. So that means we just visited. So we're gonna visit it. Let's go through, now let's go through every neighbors. Okay, uh, let's go through all the neighbors for every, uh, for every, for every child. Uh, okay, crap, okay. For auto, for every child of adjacency list, let's get all the neighbors of the current node. So every child of all the neighbors of the node, right? So remember we stored it as a, adjacency list, so each each index of the 2D array represents the neighbors of it, okay? So for every child of it, um, if it's not equal to the parent, so um, it's not equal to parent, uh, if it's not equal to the parent, we're gonna run the result. Okay, so we get the result of um, DFS, okay, so if it's not equal to the parent, ah, so if it's not equal to the parent, we are going to pass, we're gonna call it again. So we're gonna call DFS again on the child. So we're gonna call, maybe we shouldn't call, make it how all nodes has one, but let's call DFS actually, because that's basically what it's doing. It's doing depth first search. Okay, Um. yeah. Okay, so, And I'll explain the code again. Um, so if it's, so if the current child is not equal to the parent, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call, we get the results of DFS and we're going to call this on the uh, child and then current node. Okay, so we're gonna call DFS on the child. Um, pass in visited, pass in adjacent list, pass in end. Technically, we don't even need N. Maybe I could get rid of that. I don't know. Um, if it's false, return false. Okay, so if it's false, return false. Result is equal to false, then we return false. At the end, return true. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, we don't need N, so we don't need the number of nodes for some reason, because we have the adjacency list, so let's actually get rid of that. Um, Yeah, we only need number nodes. Okay, um, my only issue with this is it's starting at one. And um, yeah, what if there's no node at one? Wouldn't it still be a graph though? You're saying all nodes are not connected to our graphs. I don't know. All right, let's just see if this works. Okay, let's run this. Uh, three, two, one, two, two, three. Three, two, one, two, two, three. Yes, okay, so that's right. Uh, let's just, let's just actually just submit this now. So, go here. It 
Let's see if this works. It's running, 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 running. A seed, yay. So yeah, that's basically just how to do this problem. Uh, I'll go over it again. So essentially what we're doing is we're making sure that all the, we, ha we start from a root here, and we're making sure that we visit all the nodes just once. So um, to do that, we go through the, this, we start at a root and we go through its child. So we're gonna go through this child, right? And then, um, and then we're gonna go through its children. So that's first child right here. So it's gonna keep going down to one of its child children. And then, yeah. Then um, once we're done visiting one of its children, it's also gonna to go to this child as well. And then it's gonna keep going through every single of its child. Uh, if we reach a child where it's visited twice by a node, so like if there's two nodes here, two parents visited twice, where this is visited and it was visited again, we know it's not a tree because there's two parents, right? So if it was visited twice, uh, there's two parents, so it's not possible. So that, that's, that's why we return false at that point. So that's the reason why over here, over here we would return um, false. Yeah, so if, if the current node, if it was visited, if it was already visited at the current node, we return false. That's why we have here. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to set it that we visited this node to be true. So that's gonna mark this node True, this node is true, this node is true, right? So that's gonna mark the nodes as true. Uh, afterwards, what we're gonna do is we're going to call um, DFS, we're going through all its children. So remember, we have to go through its children and go through all of its children. So that's what we have to do. So we're gonna go through it, all of the its children of the nodes, right? Um, we need to check if all each of the children is not equal to the parent. So if, if uh, this, these children's, Right. If they're not equal to the parent, then we're going to run DFS to it again. Right. So to do that, we're going to run DFS again. So we're going to call on its children as again for each of these children. Right. And then we're going to pass in um, each uh, run DFS on each of the children right here. With the, that's what this does. And we're going to pass in um, a node representing the parent. So the, the parent is now changed to the current node, which is going to be parent for that. Um, yeah, so if, if it actually returned false, then we just return false. If this result of the DFS where we didn't visit, we visited the child twice, then we're going to return false. So that's why we do that here. Um, in the end, we just return true. Yeah. So that's what that, that, that does. Okay. So after we run DFS and if it's not equal to false, we have to make sure we visited all the nodes. So if any of the nodes was not visited, we return false. So this is going to go through all the nodes and making sure that if you haven't visited one, we're going to return false. At the end, otherwise we return true. So that's pretty much just how to check if, if it is a tree or not. Hope you guys understand this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.